I want to make my own slingshot bands, but I don't know what to do. Well, don't worry, because today we're going to make slingshot bands. I'm going to show you how to do it so you can make your own custom bands. I'm Zachary Fowler, and you're watching Fowler's Makery of Mischief. There is tons of different slingshot band materials out there. You can get them on Simple Shot. That's where I purchase all my gear, Simple Shot. And um, to make my own bands, I don't sell the materials on my website to make your own bands. I sell band sets and the slingshots from Simple Shot. But you can go on Simple Shot, get your own stuff. These are very dense um, and they're a little bit slower, but they're longer lasting. This is the natural gum rubber. This is a latex, it's heavy duty. The um, rock chuckers that I, I sell for slingshot bands are made out of this and the slingshot bands that come in the bug out kit here, which is all the all that you need to build your own slingshot, like a wooden frame and then put the bands on it, is everything is in there. Um, and these, this is my favorite, latex. It has the least amount of um, additives to it, it's just latex and it is it's snappier it's faster it's thin it doesn't last as long but it allows me to uh, shoot a more accurate shot with the slingshot so I'm gonna show you how to make a set of bands for my torque with this material first you're gonna need one of these mats it's a fabric cutting mat you get a roller cutter you can get them at like Joanne fabrics this thing is super sharp and or on Amazon a ruler uh, preferably a really stiff and hard ruler with a th fairly thick edge. It's almost like eighth inch or something there. And basically you just lay out your latex. You can buy them in one foot squares usually. And you got to do some math and figure out what, uh, what size, what length bands that you want. And right now for this torque slingshot, I'm going for a tapered band set that is inch and an eighth by three quarters. So first I just use this mat to mark that out. I'm gonna make a straight one there. And over here, there's little dots on the mat that make that so easy for you to just mark out your dimensions. And then you can just cut out your band set with this roller cutter. It's very, very simple, very easy. You lay down the roller. And the trick to cutting these out is keeping this pressed down and just a smooth, cut, working your fingers long. If you just zip it along, the rubber sometimes squishes out and the ruler slides to the side, so be careful. Line it up on your other measurements. Inch and an eighth by three quarters. Boom. You got your first band strip right there, ready to go tie on your pouches. And just do the same for your second one. Lay it out. It's easier if you actually mark out all of your measurements before you start doing it. And you make it the opposite. Last time it was an inch and an eighth over here and three quarters here, and that way it brings the, the elastic back to square again. All right, now we got a taper band set and we can tie some pouches on and then tie them onto the slingshot. Let's do it. I'm gonna tie on one of my favorite pouches. These are the warrior pouches. I think I'm gonna tie this uh, all leather one on made out of kangaroo. These guys are the best um, warrior pouches. I've been rocking those ever since they sent me some and I got more coming. I'm gonna be using those on my speed shooter and all my slingshots from that here on out. So. Um, I'll link that below in the description so you can get your own too. I don't sell those on my website just yet, but I possibly will be in the near future. All right, here's my band tying on rig that I made. It's just basically two giant spring clamps with a, attached to a board so that it stays still while you're working on it. I like to tie my bands on with little strips of natural gum rubber, uh, the thinner stuff, and uh, they make great ties. Rubber bands work too, but you gotta be careful with those because rubber bands tend to break down. To start with, take the end of the band and fold her, fold it up. So you see that? It's folded and place it through the pouch. 
Note that you're putting it through the side of the pouch that the ammo sits in and it's coming out the back of the pouch and folding over. Then, this is the piddly putsy part. It's easier to do if I'm not showing it to you. You see, keep it folded over all the way down to here. You bring just enough of it through the pouch. So you got about that much right there. And you lay it in your clamp like this. Pinching the tip of it where it's folded over. And you take your other clamp, you pull out on the pouch. So it stretches it right here. And gives you space to tie on your tie, which will hold the whole thing together. And these are very easy. You just put it on there. Give it a couple wraps in both directions. Pulling on it so it's stretching it. Then you tie one knot. And this is the trick. This is the trick to really nail it. A little bit of spit. Otherwise the friction causes the knot to get all messed up and you can actually just break the elastics. A little bit of spit. You tie a square knot. And a little bit more spit. Give her a little lick with your tongue. And then I just use my Roller cutter, boom. There's one side, all tied up. That's what it should look like. Very easy, not too complicated. Now I do your other side. Pay attention to what you're doing. Don't tie your bands on in one direction with it folded this way and the other way going the other way. Pull your elastic through, fold it, roll it, and then fold it over. All right. Same as last time. The stretcher out. Take your little piece of uh, rubber band or string. I like to use elastic instead of string because I think that it stretches with the bands where a string, I think, in time cuts into the bands as it uh, the whole thing works. This spit and finish off the square knot. All right, pouch is tied on. She's ready to go. Go back to lesson two if you want to learn how to tie on the bands to the slingshot. It covers pretty much every slingshot out there with flat bands and how to attach them. And for how to choose your band length and how long, I'll link it up below in the description. There's a two video thing by Simple Shot about choosing your proper band length. Always after tying them, check your bands. You got, it's tied on. You got your V for victory, it's coming in here. The inside of the pouch is here where the ammo goes, there's a V. If you were to have done it wrong, the pouch would be like this, and you'd see how the vans come over the top, and it kind of creates an A. For A is for absolutely wrong. And you look at your bands here, you give them a yank. Before you shoot every time, check for any damage, any wear and tear, anything that may cause them to snap when you're shooting. And then check it on your pouch end as well. The pouch ends tend to, I think the pouch ends tend to break more often than not. So you'll, you know, that's the first place you want to look for damage is right here as you're stretching it. You see some little tears. That means it could tear when you go to draw and shoot it. At that point, you can take it back up and if it's still a fairly new band, you can snip it off and retie it on. That's why I like to use the extra long little ties that I use so that um, I can snip it and then those unravel and then I can retie if I'm out there and I'm playing I don't want to have to come running back inside you can do this out in the field it's a little harder where you're trying to wrap it and then tie it but if their band ties that you use are extra long you'll be able to tie it back on and that's pretty much all I got for you so there you go that's it the torque making cutting your own bands tying them on there and warrior pouches and torque slingshots on Fowler's Makery Mischief.com Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Fowler out.